In this video we'll have a look at using the absolute layout container and a method by which we can prevent some fields in that layout container from printing when we actually do go to print and um, print to a PDF from the uh, from the absolute layout container. Uh, we'll have a quick walk through the uh, UX first. So here's our absolute layout container. I've got an unbound field in here called text1. I've got four data bound fields in here, three of which we're using in the absolute layout container and everything else is kind of normal stuff. I've got it wrapped in a panel navigator and a panel car, but that, that makes no difference in this case. And our button to actually create the PDF, which calls the, um, the action JavaScript. So let's go and have a look at the uh, absolute layout container. I'm using three fields in here, uh, four actually, including our unbound field. So um, the idea here is that we want to use, for example, customer ID. That's what we're going to be looking at. Uh, the customer ID field to, um, it could be a drop down, for example, to help determine the values for uh, these other two fields. Um, so we want to see this field in here uh, being used and available to us while we're uh, filling out this form but we don't want to see it while we're printing so we're going to use the uh, text1 field to help us with that and we'll have a quick look at text1 field and um, that's just showing us that it's got a show height expression of 1 equals 0 which means it's never going to show up and um, customer ID has uh, which is what we want to use while we're filling this out but we don't want to see printing has a show height expression of text1 equals 1 so we're going to be changing the value of text1 to um, show and hide uh, customer ID now uh, text1 uh, when we fire up we have on render complete we're setting the value of text1 uh, to 1 so it's always going to show uh, and then we're going to um, run this and just see what it looks like right now. So there's our three fields. We have access to them all and we can create our PDF. Go ahead and open it and there's our three fields. Now the idea here is we do not want um, customer ID to show. So let's go back into design mode. We'll go to create PDF. Here's the action to um, create the PDF. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into text mode. So that's the uh, that's the method to call to actually uh, create the PDF. And I'm going to add a line of code in front of it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set the value of text1 to 0. Now we need, let's run this just for interest sake. And you'll see that this won't work. So there's our um, com customer ID that we don't want to see. We'll do a create PDF. You'll notice here that it did disappear. So that is correct. The logic is right, but uh, it's here. It's sitting here in our uh, PDF, which means our timing is a little bit off. So let's go back here. And what we're going to do is a set timeout for just a little bit of time. fifty milliseconds should do it, which is almost no time. So now we're going to go ahead and do another live preview. And so we're showing up here. We can use this as it is. When we click create PDF, we're going to set the value of our hidden field, which is down here somewhere, we can't see it, to a value of zero, which means this will disappear. And it does and we open up and our field for customer ID no longer displays. Thanks for having a look.